All right, so in this tutorial, I wanna show you two more special characters which are used to start and end patterns. And to explain this concept of starting and ending patterns, I'll go through a simple example. Imagine I have a form on my web page, and I ask the user to type in a word into one of the fields on that form, which is five letters or five characters long. Now it must be exactly five, no less and no more. So I'll need a regular expression to tell me when a user has typed out five exact uh, characters, okay? So I'll use that regular expression to validate that form field, if you like. So you're probably thinking, well, we know how to do that. We can do something like this. Imagine we place a character set with a range in it from A to Z. And they're all lowercase, but it doesn't really matter. This could be uppercase as well if we wanted to use the insensitive flag. This doesn't matter. But we want it to be five in length. So we use our curly braces and we place a five inside it. That means that this thing right here must be five spaces or five characters in length. Okay, so you're thinking, well, this will do because then it's going to tell you when you have a word of five letters. It's going to say, yep, yeah, we have a match. And it will do. If I type hello, it matches. If I type in ninja, it matches. And a four letter word doesn't match. But we do get a match when we type out a five letter word. However, the problem is here. If I continue to write letters, then what happens is we just get numerous matches. Or if we don't use the global flag right here, we still get one match. So if a user types in all of this into the form field, my regular expression is still gonna be saying, yep, that's fine, we, we get a match right here. Hunky dory, well, no it's not, because I don't want all of this rubbish right here. I just want this, I don't want them to type any more. If they type any more, then it's not a match in my eyes, okay? Because when I go to grab the value from that form field, I'll be grabbing the whole thing. And this word could be anywhere inside that thing and right here we're not even looking at that word we're getting this match right here and we're not even looking at the word ninja inside it so what i want is for this to not be a match and it doesn't highlight this but only when you type in five letters so we can do that what we need to do is tell our regular expression that look this thing right here must be at the start of the form field and it must also be at the end okay so there can't be any more fluff to the left or right of it so the way we do that is by using two different characters we'll use a carrot at the start and this carrot when it's outside of a character set i know we've seen it inside a character set and it has a different meaning there it's the negate symbol but when we're placing it here at the start of the regular expression we're saying okay well the thing that follows it must be at the start of the form field, if you like, okay? Or the start of this test string. And therefore, if anything is placed before it now, then it's only gonna match the stuff at the start. Also, if we place a dollar sign at the end, then what will happen is we're saying, okay, well, this thing right here, this five letter word must also be at the end of the form field. So we're kind of jamming it in between these two things right here. And now if we type out this long string, it's not matching the first five letters right here because these are not at the end of the test string or they're not at the end of the form field on my web page. It's only now gonna match if these things right here, this word is at the end of the form field or the test string. So if I delete all these and we type out five letters, now we get a match. Okay, but if I add more, we don't get a match. And if I add more at the start, we don't get a match, all right? So if we take away this one right here, then what we could do is a load of letters before it and we get the match at the end because this one is saying, well, it must be at the end, right? But we don't have the carrot anymore. If we put the carrot on, then it must be at the start as well. Okay, so now we don't get a match. It only happens when it's a five letter word exactly. So you'll see this carrot and dollar combination in a lot of regexes when you're working with forms to make sure that the only thing that they type in that form field is what is within those two characters. So I hope that makes sense as to why we need them and we will be using them more as we go on, specifically when we create our own form in a couple of tutorials time. 